guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. Um, it's kind of like a green halo eye look, I guess, using the Soph X Makeup Revolution palette from collaboration with Makeup Revolution and Soph Does Nails here on YouTube. This is the palette right here. It is literally such a stunning palette. She did such a good job. And yeah, I created this look using that and a couple of some ColourPop eyeshadows. But if you guys want to see how to get this look right here, just keep on watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the video. Bye guys. First things first, I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional Primer. Um, I really love this stuff for like filling my pores and like smoothing out my skin. Um, because I'm like a teenager, I have quite big pores. And so I just like using this in my T-zone. So kind of like here, um, on the like apples of my cheeks, along my nose. And I like using a bit of it on my chin. And then for the rest of my face, I'm just going to use the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Um, I have really dry skin at the moment because I went through a phase where I didn't use any moisturizer, which is not a good idea, especially as it's summer at the moment. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer because it's really moisturizing and good for the rest of my skin. I like this primer because it makes my skin feel really tacky, and this is actually my first time using it. So good first impression so far really tacky and like moisturizing like I feel really hydrated which is good for foundation I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation and I'm in the shade 3.25 and I'm just gonna pump it out onto just like any old you can use anything like um, a little dish or something but I'm gonna be using the lid of the clinic tape that I all take the day off whoa I should have shaken it ha <laughs> I'm going to be taking a Primark Beauty brush, um, which I got when I went over to England, and I'm just going to take the concealer end. This is a eyeshadow concealer jewel end brush. I'm going to take the concealer side and just use that to spread my foundation out. Um, as I said before, my skin's really dry at the moment, so I'm going to use only a little bit of this because this is quite a drying foundation. This stuff is so full coverage, it's ridiculous, and I always put way too much on than is necessary. But this one is quite matte, so if you're looking for a more dewy finish, this probably isn't the foundation for you, but it's a really good foundation. But keep in mind, it does oxidize, so just make sure you keep that in mind when you're using it, um, when you're finding your shade. I'm going to be using the original Beauty Blender, this is the Swirl, but you can't even tell because it's literally disgusting. I'm just going to use that to blend out my foundation. I just went to go wet it and I would definitely recommend when you use your beauty blender to use it wet. To blend out my neck I'm using the Morphe M439 brush. I just find it easier to blend my neck foundation out with a brush instead of spending the time pouncing and I feel like it kind of just looks the same anyway. So. Now that I've finished foundation, I'm going to move on to concealer. So at the moment, I'm mixing two different concealers because I'll explain in a second. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, which is I'm in the shade Light Warm, and the Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 10 Nude. Um, the reason why I mix these, this is actually my exact colour, except my best friend Emily has Light Warm as well and it's a perfect colour for me, except this is like, I don't know whether that this is a dud or what, but this is so much darker than her one. So this one's like way too dark for me, so I have to mix them, but I may be able to get away with this because I'm a little tanner at the moment, but we'll see. This Essence Camouflage Concealer is absolutely amazing, but the only issue with it is it's only got two shades, which is so stupid. Essence, come out please with more shades in this concealer. Oh, and I got mine at Priceline, in case you're wondering. And I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend that out. I'm also going to be using the Morphe EH brush to blend that out. So to set my under eyes, I'm going to be using the... Australis banana powder. I've literally like ruined this stuff. Like it looks so 
so dingy on the packaging, but this stuff is really, really good. And it's like really affordable as well because it's drugstore, but it's really good powder. I would definitely recommend this. I know most people don't put like banana powder on their nose, but I actually do and for some really, really weird reason. I don't know, I just like the way it looks. But, yeah. And I also set like this little bit here. Because I always feel like for some weird reason that always looks darker than the rest of your face. So the rest of my face I'm going to be using the NYMAX Studio Fix um, Powder Foundation. And the shade NC25. I'm so bad. To set that I'm going to be using the... Let's you can't find it. The Rotechnics Blush Brush. It's such a random brush to use, but... Um, I really like the way that I can just kind of brush it on and I don't really like this stuff to really full coverage so I don't really want to pack it on. I just want to kind of dust it. I find I can do that with this brush. Yeah. I'm going to go and do my brows now using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm in the shade Soft Brown so I'm going to go do my brows and I'll be back. So I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. I'm mostly going to be using the Soph X Makeup Revolution palette today. So this palette is absolutely stunning. So from what I've seen with the Jaclyn Hill palette, it's quite similar with really wide chain range and you can create a whole bunch of looks with this palette. It has got less eyeshadows though, but it has like the blue, the purple, the green, and ooh, it's got like this massive mirror which I absolutely love for doing my makeup in. But I got it from Superdrug in England for for £10. But yeah, I'm going to be creating a greeny look with this eye, this palette. But I'm also going to be using a few shades from the Colourpop. Some of my Colourpop singles. They're all Colourpop singles. These are all Colourpop singles. Except for this one right here, which is a Essence shadow. But it's like, oh my god, it's beautiful. To start off, I'm going to be taking the Rotep Nynx Multitasking Eye Brush. I love this brush for like um, eyeshadow, and I'm going to take this one right here called Cup of Tea, I'm going to be taking that one and then we're going to brush I'm going to work that into my crease a little bit this is my transition colour and then I'm just going to take it all over my lid, so I'm going to just blend it in with my crease and then I'm going to use take it down onto my lid like this, like dragging it down motions, I'm going to do the same on the other one, I'm just highlighting the brow bone with the like oh my god so many things in my hand right now this white shade right there take this shade right here it is called note to self I'm gonna just take this in the like very corner of the crease just kind of deepen it up a little more I'm gonna take this shade from the Colourpop it's called Teen Captain and it's like this really nice dark green and I'm gonna take it on the Morphe M431 like a pen brush, I'm just going to use that to pack the shade onto my lid. And just take a cup of tea again from the Sobex palette just to blend that out. I just took that white shade. I should really find out what it's called before I do that. Taking Mac, Mac, Mac Prep and Prime Spray on the Primark brush, but on the eyeshadow end. I'm going to take the shade Pine Tree in the Soap X palette. Just a green, such a beautiful green as well. I'm going to pat that shade all over my lid. You want it to be as pigmented as possible, so to make it more pigmented, I would definitely recommend spraying your brush. Whoa, what happened to the lighting? Look at this gold shade in my Colourpop palette called... Save it for later. Just that one right there. I'm just going to put that in the very, very center. You want it to be fairly, very pigmented as well. So like you just want to pack that gold on right in that center bit. So I forgot to say what I was doing, but I'm just blending um, the gold out into the green using the brush I used it with the green matte shade. So, yeah. And now I'm just taking a small angled brush to put some gold underneath my lower lash line. I'm going to put some the e.l.f. black eyeliner in my waterline. Yeah. 
the Benefit Roll Lash Mascara. We're now going to be using my <gasps> Benefit Hula Bronzer. I literally love this bronzer. Can you see these little divots in the side? It's because I hate this packaging because when I close it, these little things go in the middle and then they just go <sighs> to my favourite bronzer. I'm using the multitasking Rotex face brush to just do like my temples and just kind of blend everything together and out. And then just take my powder brush and just wipe it underneath for it to look like that. Like more seamless and more like. Looking at Becca's Moonstone highlighter, it's literally so beautiful. I literally love this stuff so much. Down there? Just so bad moves. I go to the tip of my nose and then I kind of go like up a little bit, but then I always powder it because I don't like this bit looking too bright, but like the dip, like the very tip. Yes, please. Cupid's bow. And my chin. I love hitting my chin with highlight. I'm taking the shade Fairy Lights, which is right here. I'm going to take literally holy water, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Wait, hold on. Nope. This stuff is literally like holy water. I'm going to take the Smashbox, Smashbox Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.